Putin's disappearance won't change anything, believes Ukraine's spy chief. Disappearing of Vladimir Putin is unlikely to change the situation. Russian society has already become a victim of propaganda and harbors hatred towards Ukraine and the West, believes the chief of Ukraine's defense intelligence, Kirillo Budinov. Nothing will change swiftly and definitively. I can tell you that right away. Their attitude towards the world and their worldview cannot change abruptly with sudden changes in the Russian Federation. They have truly become victims of their own propaganda. It has happened. They admit it. Let's put it that way, he said. According to him, Russian society is pumped with hatred towards the collective West and Ukraine. Even if someone appears now and says, let's stop. Even if everything stops, this hatred will still significantly influence decision making for many years because all decisions will be made from the perspective that they are enemies added the head of the defense intelligence. Budanov suggested imagining a situation when everything stops and Russia apologizes. Who will believe Russia in a year? These are irreversible processes that have already taken place in society. It takes years and work to do, he said. Budanov recalled the situation after World War II. Now I think few people see Germans as enemies, but time has passed and everything has become normal. But in the 1950s, it was hard to find a person who would see the then FRG as friends. So everything changes with the years. And these are not easy processes, he concluded. According to the Levada Center, the majority of Russians support the war against Ukraine. In January 2024, only 16% of respondents were against, while 8% were undecided. A third of Russians believe that people like them bear moral responsibility for the deaths of civilians and destruction in Ukraine, while 62% of those surveyed maintain a contrary position. These answers have remained stable for the past one and a half years. Dozens of worshippers died after a bus headed to an Easter conference apparently lost control and plunged off a cliff in South Africa's Limpopo province according to South African Broadcasting Corporation, the crash claimed the lives of 45 people and one is seriously injured, the country's transport department said in a statement, the passengers were pilgrims traveling from Botswana's capital, Gaborone. To an Easter service in the town of Moria, Limpopo health official Fofi Ramathuba told. South African broadcaster ENCA that body parts from separate crash victims may have been put into different body bags, which is why so far only nine bodies have been identified. Transport Minister Sindasai Chikunga, who went to the scene of the incident, has sent condolences to the bereaved families and Botswana government following the horrific bus crash. Chikunga says the government will repatriate the bodies. We want really to extend our heartfelt condolences to the families but also to the government of Botswana and to the people of Botswana and as South Africa we will try everything to assist so that they go back to their country and families to be buried with dignity. President Cyril Ramaphosa expressed his condolences to Botswana and to loved ones of the crash victims, a statement from his office said. <laughs>